Hey, welcome to the guide. I'm Yo. And I'm Will. And uh, here's your weekly update. Uh, got lots of little tidbits to discuss. And yeah. uh, first thing I want to get to, I don't think I mentioned this to you. I don't know if you heard about this, but uh, July 31st was Harry Potter's birthday. Oh, uh, yes. Did you hear about this? And uh, on Harry Potter's birthday, Warner Brothers announced like the ultimate, ultimate collector's edition. Did you hear about this thing? <laughs> yeah, if, oh, uh, the 31 yeah. disc Harry Potter Blu-ray collector's yeah. set. Which is pretty much, yeah, like you said, the ultimate Harry Potter It's insane. Collection. It's going to have all the special features from all the movies already, and mm -hmm. then a bunch of new special features, including some interviews with J.K. Rowling and right. the screenwriter of the movies, which I'm a writer, so I would find that fascinating as they discuss how they took the movies and tried to get screenplays for them uh, yeah. from the books. Uh, that'd be intriguing to watch. Yeah, and then it also has uh, discs that follows uh, the characters on the set, how they've grown up yeah. on the set. Which would be interesting to see, kind mm -hmm. of like a montage of Definitely. all Definitely see how all the different actors develop personalities yeah, all yeah. throughout the, the series. It's pretty mega huge. Uh, and, and it's it comes, mega bucks. <laughs> it comes with a pretty mega huge price tag. About 500 bucks for this thing. But again, you know, you think about it, it's like eight movies and you know, you're looking at three or four discs per special edition. I mean, it's not outrageously priced. Yes. I think it's a great set for anyone who hasn't already bought the movies, yeah. but you want them, this will definitely be the way to go. It's mm -hmm. kind of a bummer for people who have been buying the movies as they've released, <laughs> yeah. and then you're like, what? Because they've already spent, you know, two thirds of the money anyway, <laughs> yeah, yeah. consecutively. It's like double down. Uh, so that'll be releasing on September 7th of this year. I'm sure a lot of people, 500 bucks I'll just ask Santa for it because he, he can he can just send it to oh, me. Yeah Santa's got the cash. That's right. Yeah. He, that's what he does. He, he grants wishes like that. Uh, so there's that and then uh, the new James Bond trailer for Skyfall came out this week. Uh, the second trailer for that the, a full-length trailer mm -hmm. which I, I was very excited about. Did you get a chance to see it? Yeah I mean it's it's a James Bond trailer of course. Yes. Yeah and uh, it, it, it doesn't the trailer that I saw didn't give too many right. uh, hints on to what exactly was uh, the context of, of this new James Bond movie. But it looks pretty intriguing. The main mm -hmm. things I took away from it though, Quantum of Solace was a great action movie, but it really wasn't a James Bond movie. It was yeah. more like a Jason Bourne movie with James Bond in it. And Definitely. That, that drug down the entire experience for me because yeah. I came to see a James Bond movie. He has a very distinct flair, a very distinct style, and mm -hmm. it wasn't there in Quantum of Solace. And so in this new trailer, first of all, he says Bond, James Bond, which he never said in Quantum of Solace. So right, right there I was like, oh, thank you. This is probably going to be a James Bond movie. And then there's that scene with the train and all kinds of crazy stuff is happening behind him. And he like jumps in and stuff's blowing up, but he still has time to straight in his suit. And yeah. Like, it, that's the James Bond I know. Yeah, it seems like they're going to kind of go back to the original, the classy, the spy right. James yeah. Bond. He's got style, he's got charm, mm -hmm. he's got flair, but he doesn't shy from the action. They gave him his Walter PPK finally. I was so stoked with that. And yes. Q is in the movie. So you Q, got Q. Q is in the movie. The Walter PPK, yeah. you got James Bond looking stylish, and he says his name properly for a change. <laughs> It looks like a real James Bond movie. Yeah. That's all I needed to know. I'm sold. I'm excited for Skyfall. Yeah. Too bad Sean Connery's too old to be <laughs> James Bond anymore. He could be his dad. It would be great. <laughs> yeah. Sean Connery comes out of retirement to play the villain in a James Bond oh. movie with Daniel Craig. That would be interesting. Nerds everywhere just had their heads explode. <laughs> <laughs> Courtesy of the guide. Uh, and then this week, an interesting film comes out. The remake of Total Recall. Yep, the uh, original with Arnold Schwarzenegger, now Arnold. been redone. Yeah, did you ever see the original? <laughs> oh yeah, I was a huge Schwarzenegger <laughs> fan when I was like younger. It is so. like the epitome of a 90s action film. Oh yeah. And when I heard they're doing a remake, I was I was kind of skeptical. When I heard that it wasn't going to have anything to do with Mars, because of course Mars is box office poison these days, uh -huh. I got really skeptical. And then when I saw the early trailers, it looks like a great action movie, but it looks like Minority Report 2 to me. Yeah, it, it looks like they just kind of kept the same movie and tried to make it flashier. Like, if you tried to remake uh, Blade Runner or something, right, it just right. doesn't seem like it would go that well. The concept makes for a great movie. I yeah. get that. And it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. So, um, if you want to find out what we thought of the film itself, be sure to check out our review at GameAndMovieGuide.com, but just know we went into it kind of skeptical. <laughs> I mean, it looked like a fun action movie. I'll yeah. grant you that, but is it worthy of the Schwarzenegger Total Recall? 
That's going to be tough. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's such a great but terrible movie. <laughs> uh, another news, some uh, big uh, news on the Star Wars fronts. Yeah, yeah. Star Wars, uh, The Old Republic, the massively multiplayer online game, is going free to play. The game that I never allowed myself to purchase <laughs> because it was a suck up your life and uh, my monthly membership and, fee yeah, yeah and your money suck up your life and your money so okay interesting you, you avoided it because of the monthly fee thing mm -hmm. now that it's going free to play would you be more inclined to play it oh totally so you would go out and buy the game and play it yes right now yes okay this I is plan to <laughs> you're, you're planning on doing it? I've already thought this through today okay yeah. so free to play um, you get up to level cap 50 mm -hmm. um, you get all the eight classes that it started off with originally you can have some player versus player uh, in like the war zone stuff but that it's only on a weekly basis right and then for bonus content bonus classes uh, missions and other stuff you will have to pay uh, a little subscription fee to get some of the newer content that they keep adding. Right. Well, from my point of view, I'm I'm coming into it as a player who I'm not going to have all week to right. devote to you know gaining you levels. You think you won't, but as soon as you start, <laughs> you will. So, so I'm not expecting to even reach level 50 or be capped for a long time. You're and so still dropping out of college. I can, I can just see it happening now. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Star Wars is free now. I have a job now. What is it? Star Wars. I'm a bounty hunter. Yeah, so it's very enticing for me True. to get into it now well, and, it's free. And let's face it, most MMOs have gone free to play, mm -hmm. and I think it was only a matter of time before it happened with, with Star Wars The Old Republic, and it'll be interesting to see if that uh, helps their subscription base and their player base and see how all that works out for them. So, yeah, definitely. So that's going free to play, and uh, yeah, so go, go lose your life in Star Wars. Some people already have, and they paid for it more ways than one. And that pretty much wraps up our, our weekly update uh, right there. Um, it's already August, I can't believe that, so coming up soon we'll be talking about the 3DS XL mm -hmm. and of course Super Mario Brothers 2 on the 3DS XL going for the gold. Oh yes. <laughs> and all those coins. In the coming months the video games are starting to oh, erupt. Oh man, August yeah. is going to start a floodgate of awesomeness and we'll keep you up to date with that so you got to follow us Facebook and Twitter. Yeah, GameAndMovieGuide.com, Facebook.com forward slash game and movie guide and of course for more you can always check out our friends at hollywoodjesus.com <laughs>